Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Once again, it's Joyce here, your Master Mindset. If you are new here, I want you to know that in this channel, I do business and investment opportunities videos. So if you think that you're in the right channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so I can keep you updated every time I post another video. Hello, me familios. So how are you today? And yeah, so this video, it will be just another ordinary video. Nothing special. <laughs> I am actually inspired to do this video because I got a lot of inquiries from young age okay so how young how young aba si mga 16 mga meron nagme-message sa akin 17 16 pa lang sila and they wanted to start their own business so in this video i will just share my experience on how i really started with business okay before this yeah nag-uusap kami na daddy on what's really your goal bakit nga ba gusto mong magka-negosyo or karon ng ng ganitong bag guys so we figured out that the best legacy that you can have is your kids okay so yung mga anak mo yun talaga yung yung legacy mo eh. kasi like napag-usap na sabi nga ni daddy before um when you have that certain amount of money yung mga mayayaman na they are really scared of that kasi may iwan nila yung negosyo nila na yon, de ba? so like for some of us na di ganong kayaman, we, wala tayong masyado, wala wala tayong ganong kalaking company na talagang inaalagaan. so or you want your kids na sila yung maging legacy mo. what's really important is kung your influence, kasi your influence, you are the brightest light na nakakapag-influence kasi you're the closest to them eh. So, you have the brightest light that can influence to them, ba? So, if if kids are seeing you as someone na who's um, really doing this for them, so, nakikita nila na as early as yung age nila, nakikita nila na talagang nagtatrabaho ka, nagnenegosyo kayo, so it will, kumbaga parang may imprint nila yun sa system nila. Like for example, one advice that came from a friend of mine na in-interview ko about the successful cloth mask yan. Sabi nga, niya, sabi nga niya, if you're a mom and you want to have a business and natatakot ka kasi baka mawalan ka ng time sa anak mo, um, you have to involve them. Kasi one way of teaching them on how to to be a responsible kid as early as yung sa young age nila if you want them to in the future maging entrepreneur then or just para maging smart lang sila sa life diba so you have to involve them it's one way of um hindi naman kasi pwedeng araw-araw maglalaro lang kayong dalawa eh magtuturo mag magtuturo ka sa kanya kasi dadating din yung time na you really have to expose them sa sa mga um, ano sa talagang sa real life okay so that's one way of doing it so yun hi Chloe thank you for being a guest in my ano if you want to watch the video pala of Chloe yeah and be inspired on how she turned this um, crisis as an opportunity so sobrang lakas ng mga cloth mask Niya, okay so yan watch it i have a link down below para makita nyo and yan so fast forward to that i'm so proud of those parents diba <laughs> nakakatuwa so yan to give you a brief overview when i started uh, doing a business when i was actually medyo late now when i was in college okay um but i remember kasi nung nung bata pa lang ako nakita ko na yung kalakaran sa school kasi when I was in elementary meron akong teacher <laughs> nagbebenta siya ng stick oh so every time na alam mo yung talagang pumipila kami para bumili ng stick oh so sobrang na-inspire ako sa kanya so ang ginawa ko noon meron ako noon mga mga ano eh mga parang ginagawa namin dati ni mama parang mga champoy alam niyo yung champoy na na Ah, uh, ang tawag doon, may puno kasi kami dati ng sampalok. So, binabalot namin 'yon, nilagyan ng asukal, niluluto, ganyan kasi mama 'yon. Pero ako yung nagbebenta. So, alam niyo 'yon, parang at the very young age, if you have this kind of motivation kasi um, anything is possible. May mga may mga tao kasi minsan na parang nahiya silang magbenta. Alam mo 'yon. Pero Alam mo, yun yun kasi yung parang ituturo mo sa mga anak mo yun, how how they can as early as uh, very as early as a very young age nga matuto din sila na parang kapalan yung mukha nila 
<laughs> Kasi that's really important eh. They should have, hindi naman kapalan mo ka, the confidence to do something, di ba? Parang teaching them na lahat ng ginagawa mo if you're exerting hard work and wala kang ginagawang masama, hindi ka nakakatapak ng tao, lahat, kung ano man yung ginagawa mo, you should be proud of that, okay? So, uh, yun, I... I started with that one and then when I was in college nga um, kasi I want to provide for my sister para makapag-aral siya. So I used the opportunity. Ito ha, um, you can apply this to actually ina-apply ko to ngayon na talagang bina-vlog ko to kasi, kasi natatandaan ko na you really need to have a community para um, or join a community para you can bring your business to success, okay? So, when I was in college, I started my shirt business with um, another classmate of mine. Yeah, nag, nag, ano kami, nag, nag partner, partner kami. During that time, I was the vice president of Junior Marketing Association in Forestern University. So, I had a lot of connection. Talagang medyo, hindi man sikat. <laughs> <laughs> ako maga parang um, kilala ko ng mga organization. Siyempre, nagtitipon-tipon yan. Eh. You, have, you, you got to know this president. Ganyan-ganyan. Um, most of the ano, kasi yearly, nagkakaroon ng organizational shirt. Tapos, sabi ko, ang laki-laki naman ang binabayad namin dito sa gumagawa ng t-shirt na to. Sabi ko, pwede pala namin siyang gawing negosyo. So, with the help of my classmates, since hindi ako technical, ako lang yung sa marketing. So, siya yung si Michael. Siya yung gumawa ng, and yung girlfriend niya that time. Sila yung yung um, gumagawa ng shirts. So, um, ang dami. So, ang dami namin naging, ano no, naging experience doon. It, it, it made us or it taught us to really do a business nung, nung time na yon. Sobrang kulang na lang talaga. Wala lang kaming ganong kalaking pera to buy the octopus machine. So, that time kasi uso na yung mga octopus machine. So, we're doing everything manually. So, hindi na namin kaya sa sobrang dami na talagang nagpapaprint ng shirt sa amin. Uh, Nag-hire na kami. Kumbaga, nag-subcontract na kami. Ang ginawa namin is um kumuha kami ng gumagawa na talaga ng t-shirt tapos nagpatong na lang kami kasi yung hirap eh uh, minsan kami pa yung gumagawa talaga manually so that business nabuhay naman siya when kami na ni daddy noon so naisip niya one thing then yan meron din siyang community noon so yung community na yon community niya na yon kasi mga kilala niya yung network niya so, they are all working, yung mga network niya yun, nag-work sa isang malaking company that, that you know, buy shirts na talagang sobrang madami kasi they, they always do events. Yan. So, yun yung tinarget ni Daddy. So, binuhay niya yung business namin na shirt printing. And, yun, actually, it gave us a lot of income, profit, no? Kasi, that profit, kasi yun yung ginamit namin pang in vitro, ba? Hindi sobrang mahal kaya magpa-in vitro, ba? So, yun yung kaya nagkaroon kami ng mira ngayon. Siyempre, because of love, effort, and also, nakatulong na din yung kinita namin sa t-shirt na yun. So, um, we happen to produce a big um, quantity of t-shirts for them. Talagang, um, we earned a lot. <laughs> So, with that one, you can also do that. Kahit hindi ka pa nag-start ng, 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 ng malaking negosyo mo, imagine na ang competitors namin doon are the big companies of shirt printing. Pero, bakit kami nakuha? Kasi talagang sinaga ni Daddy yun. Every time na kailangan nila, hindi porket um, may connection sila doon sa loob. It's, it, hindi yun yung naging um, reason bakit kami nakuha. Nakuha kami because sobrang sobrang tiyaga namin na magbigay ng mga prototype ng product pag gusto nila ganitong design. So, ulit na naman kami. Punta kami doon para lang talaga makuha mo yung project. So, ang dami namin pinagdaanan sa t-shirt na yan. And it's really a good training ground sa amin for the business. Siyempre, yun yung mga experiences na talaga hindi namin makakalimutan. We're still, yung sa t-shirt, I really find it um, sobrang profitable. You just have to know kung paano mo siya gagawin and paano mo siya, kumbaga, ano yung, ano yung magiging target mo. So, you have 
during that time kasi syempre a lot of companies naman they they usually buy merchandise eh. so you ang ginawa namin noon ni daddy nagsulat muna kami ng mga kakilala namin sa mga nagtatrabaho sa ganitong company and then sinel namin yung business namin sinel namin yung sarili namin na hey we're doing this business baka if you have the requirement of the shirt yan of this um, merchandise kaya namin i-provide sa inyo so you start with that okay so um, fast forward to that when we kami naman ni daddy so I started also my I I resigned from my Qatar Airways job. So, pumunta ako dito sa, Filipi sa Philippines niya <laughs> para simulan yung travel agency. But unfortunately, hindi siya naging super successful. But I still have that agency. Um, may vlog ako niyan eh. Ang dami nga nagtatanong. But as of now kasi, I, I did that business as home-based. Hindi ako nagtayo ng physical store. So, online ko lang siyang ginagawa. Nagbubuka ko. So, right now, hindi ko na siya na-focus. And I think, um, hindi ko lang talaga siya masyadong na, na alam niyo nagawan ng magandang plano. So, I, again, we I started another business which is the RTW business. So, I got the opportunity na makabili ng mga damit sa Taytay. Hindi ko makakalimutan noon. Talagang sobrang, ano ko noon, lumilipad pa ako noon. Physical store namin nasa Batanga. So, as in, um, morning, 5 a.m., nasa Taytay na ako. As in, nagda-drive ako doon dati. Mag-isa, sobrang dilema. Pupunta ako doon. Minsan, siyempre, kasama ko si Daddy, but may business din naman siya sa, sa Sambuanga. So, um, yun, pumunta ako ng Taytay to buy all the stuff na kailangan ko. So, sako-sako yung binibili ko noon, dinadala ko sa Batangas. But, um, siyempre, I have um, failed businesses. So, that's one. Ayan, medyo nag-fail siya kasi... Um, may physical store ako noon and hindi okay din yung location. So, medyo hindi ko rin siya na-focus kasi lumilipad ako. So, sometimes 4 days ako mawawala, 6 days. So, hindi ko siya na-focus. So, what I did is I pulled out all my stocks and nag-venture ako online. So, nagbenta ako online tapos nagbenta rin ako sa mga concept stores. Yung during that time, I have I kausuhan ng mga concept, concept stores. Okay? So, Yung mga concept stores na yon, you will have the chance to have your product in the malls. Kasi dun sila nakatayo eh. So, those are the, um, kumbaga, mga businesses, iba-ibang businesses na online. You can put your products there. Pag-rent ka lang ng certain um, space para ilagay yung products mo. Then, everything will be handled by them. Re-release na lang nila sa'yo yung money na kung may nabenta ka. Okay? So, that's how the concept stores goes. Pero ngayon, syempre, medyo hindi siya medyo mahina siya syempre kasi um, pandemic tas walang ano walang masyado nagmo so what i suggest if you are going for RTW you have to sell it online and use products or sell products na alam mong mabenta ngayon so ano ba yung mga mabentang products ngayon de ba mga pang workout lahat na lang nagwo-workout de ba kaya pwede kang magbenta noon and mga pambahay and pantulog yan yung mga mga fashionable na pambahay ayan just you can venture to that if you have a local supplier or meron kang kaya mong gumawa kasi merong isang business nakita ko uh, bumibili lang siya ng mga raw materials parang pinipint pinapaint niya, hindi man pinapaint eh. yung alam niya yung ginagawa dati na na nilalagyan ng kulay so ang galing so and then he she tapped influencers so talagang viral yung ano niya yung RTW business niya na yun so ay dami it's really exciting you know kapag magnenegosyo ka sobrang ang sarap sa pakiramdam sometimes it's not about the money eh. it's about ano eh yung fulfillment mo na parang uh, wow, nakapagtayo ako ng ganito. So, minsan hindi mo na talaga may isip yung kinikita mo eh. It's about fulfillment na parang nakapagbenta talaga ako ng ganito, ba? So, may bumibili talaga ng product. So, um, and, and, and what's important is the learnings na makukuha mo, right? So, Fast forward to that, and then, yeah, nandito na kami ngayon sa laundry business. And that's the reason why I'm here talking to you kasi you loved my videos about the laundry business. So, I got the opportunity to share that to you kasi nakita ko na wala talaga ang present na mga informations online on how you can start your um, laundry business. And I find laundry business as a very profitable business 
but you really have to start with have the right location the right market for your business the diba? yun yung key elements don you have to uh, you need to have the good location for your business so um, we're actually planning to do a laundry business I can help you you can avail of my coaching service yeah in this um, coaching service kasi tinuturo ko what are the things that you really need to know for you to have a profitable laundry business kasi um, mahal po ang capital ng laundry business and I, I don't want na masayang yung hard earned money nyo ba diba? so and in the future ayan I am so excited but yeah, excited ko rin kayo um, we will be venturing ayan yeah, claim ko na to ah. we will be um, having my business franchise Uy, and I'm so excited sana okay praying pagdasal natin yan okay but kiniklaim ko na Okay, so abangan nyo po yan and um, yun, so that's a bit of my journey of uh, yan, business. So, uh, yun, sana na-inspire ko kayo one way or another. So, if you want to know more or hear some stories about businesses, investment opportunities, keep on watching my videos and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit like, share, and yun, subscribe and see you all on my next videos. Bye!